Good morning. My name is Lucy Tapahanso, and I just shared with you my plans and the fact that I'm from Shiprock, New Mexico, and am now in Santa Fe at Yotua. I want to uh, express my appreciation to the Bosque Redondo Memorial Foundation for sponsoring this fellowship, um, which allows me to write and to reflect and com commemorate the um, long walk which took place in the 1800s. I'd like to share some things with you this morning about writing and how I approach my writing. Um, there's different ways of uh, being creative that go into uh, writing. And some of these are weaving, um, drawing, keeping a journal, meditating, um, and reading, you know, reading poetry of other people and sort of immersing myself in that. I really appreciate the opportunity to just take hours and days to write, which um, is really what goes into a poem. It's a lot of time and revising and um, new ideas that come along as you're, you know, as you're creating a work. So I'll show you around my office and um, some of the things that that go into writing for me. It snowed last night and it's really pretty outside. This is outside of my office and you can see the Hamus Mountains way back there. We're on the homeland of the Tiwas and I'm so grateful to be in such a beautiful place the land of our relatives. It's really inspiring to have these views year round and see how the trees change and um, the weather change and all the different um, shrubs and bushes out here. Um, the changes they go through over the seasons. So inside my office, um, I'll back up a bit here. This is my typewriter, the first typewriter I ever bought, probably in my early 20s. And um, my grandchildren say that um, that it was a, like the first laptop. <laughs> and I guess that's true. It came in a little case and at that time I was... Um, a stringer for newspapers and I would take around my little black case and write news stories. So I just like to keep it there to remind me of um, just how, how, what it was like when I started writing and just the kind of sacrifices one had to make because that typewriter at that time was not um, inexpensive for me. Um, then going this way, there's a picture of my home, Shiprock. Um, and then um, here's one of the rugs or the looms I'm working on. Um, I really enjoy it and um, it fits in really well. Aside from weaving, I also like to draw. Um, these are some things I've done, um, just for myself. I just love, just enjoy it. Another, um, way of, uh, thinking about poetry for me is to use a kind of a scrapbook style. Um, so here's an example. This is a page that I made to honor my mother. So you can see this is a picture of her when she was a, a young woman. These are pictures 
when we were children with my mom and dad, and then one of me, my mother. It's interspersed with poetry, and then uh, a pouch of pollen, and just a little twig from um, a tree, a pine tree. So these are nice, nice way to um, honor people, and I've made these uh, kind of collages for people on their birthdays or for Christmas, and just take pictures of um, take pictures of them and um, uh, commemorate important important events in their life in a creative way. So that's one of the things I like to do as well. I also like to draw. So here's my little cart of drawing stuff. And I have a corner over here where I have my easel and, um, you know, just my drawing things. This is a charcoal drawing I did last spring. And, um, yeah, so I, I, I just enjoy that. One of the ways that I like to write is to write keywords on these big post-it pads. Um and put them on the wall. I find that I, I, that visual component is really conducive to my, my process of writing. So like with poems, this is how I kind of start. And this is really good for fixed form. This is a Sestina here. So it has six, it's a poem that has six stanzas. And then each stanza consists of six lines. And then each line has a particular words at the end. So you can see Elenigo um, and And these are the words that, at that are at the end of the lines. And they repeat in a specific order throughout the whole poem. For instance, see right here, you can see ancestors. And it's the last, it's the last word in this line in the stanza and then on the next stanza it's the last word in the first line so and here again we have loss and loss so it helps me just kind of see where words are going to go and then uh find maybe other words um that will work just as well i really like writing in navajo and english it gives it just like more possibilities for this for writing this kind of a poem um, here are, here's the bookcase that's here in my office. There's other ones throughout the house, but this is the one in here. I, I, uh, really like these journals. Um, I've been doing bullet journals, journaling for maybe three or four years. So these are the ones that are completed. And then these are waiting. So I'm anxious to get to those. I just love to. I just love what, uh, you know, the different parts of bullet journal, and I'll show you in a bit. Here's uh, another loom. And um, as with many things in Navajo culture, there's stories that go along with what seems like ordinary things. So with this one, the top of the loom here represents our father, the sky. These are lightning bolts. And then the bottom is our mother, um, not so, um, the, like the, uh, the foundation of everything we do and the way that we uh, are strengthened or supported. This side of the loom represents um, the female and then this side represents the male. Um, this top, this top, uh, that's the, uh, the head of, uh, represents the male. And then this pool one represents the female or the woman. And then this is like, uh, sheets of rain here. So that's an abbreviated story of how um, what the loom means 
and so when one is weaving then you're kind of um, in that whole within that whole universe of um, meaning and um, in a way it provides you with uh, support and creativity and um, then you know it, it helps you to kind of meditate on what your culture means what the beliefs are and also to pray so it's like something you just once you start it you know it's just like this space you go into that's really um really nice um and the weaving was a way that or is a way that navajo people have sustained themselves over the centuries it was given to us by spider woman who believed that women should be able to the women should be able to contribute to their families equally um and not depend on the men so that's the short story behind it and then here is um my well my weaving stuff here and then this is the bullet journal so let me just show you this very quickly i re i really love this so you can do all kinds of things it's a planner so here's the black like, this is the front of it there's the monthly calendar and then i do a weekly planner so this is like uh you can combine drawing and then i like to keep mementos of places that we've been and um and then you know each week it's a different a different kind of um layout so it's just kind of fun i, I really um recommend this if this is if um you know you are so inclined it's just a way just a really nice way so the front is the planner and then um in the back is a journal which you know i write every day so i write back here and then just like details in the back of the journal business stuff go away at the back so that's, where, that's what's back here um so this is the one i'm currently in so this is this week's so it's kind of combining like scrapbook and um just just being creative in another way so i just uh and you know i just kind of really like that and here's my writing implements for journaling i also want to just touch upon what what uh goes into um for me right go writing a poem so i begin by um writing on a pad you know and usually pencil but sometimes pen so this is like some examples of uh, what it looks like when I start. So I begin like that with just writing on notebook paper and then um, eventually printing it out and then editing it or yeah editing it and then revising it so here's a, I guess a better example is the uh, writing it and then editing it and revising and then the final version of the poem so that's what for me that's what goes into writing and um as i said it takes it takes a long time it takes uh, you know hardly ever doesn't hardly ever just comes together all at once it takes a, it's a process so i want to end this with another view of the mountains over there um we Navajos like to do things in a circular 
of motion so that's why I want to end with this one too I also you know want to uh, it reminds me of uh, to look at the mountains that surround us of our own strength because um, in Navajo mountain is but uh, and, but also the word for strength or to be strong is zil. So it's derived from a mount, you know, the word mountain. And um, so to be surrounded by mountains is offers a, a source of strength and stability to whatever it is that um, one does. So I'll end here with this then. Go ahead.